<clears throat> Coach, just your thoughts on the game as a whole first? I thought it was a real good game. Uh, well played game by both teams, uh, entertaining for the fans. Um, you can see why they're a, they're a top ranked team. Uh, they play hard, they've got uh, good speed, good quickness, uh, they defend well. Uh, you know, we got a few breaks tonight, but uh, overall I thought you know, it was a, a good game uh, with two real good teams. And I liked our team, I liked the you know, perseverance and stay with it. You know, we got behind and, and a lot uh, was not going our way, but uh, we hung in there and we got a big goal from Alex Patan. Great play by Chris Leibringer. It's it good to see our defensemen step up tonight. I thought Chris Leib offensively, I thought Chris Leibringer made a real great play on the goal. And then uh, Mark, Mark Ock, uh, you know, good for Mark. He's, he's uh, an offensive guy and he hasn't had many points, but a uh, real good shot there. And then those goals, goals gave us a lot of momentum going into the third period. Is this how you uh, script your, your first win in a couple games? Get out shot, get down 2 nothing, but come back and win? Well, it's interesting. It seems like Jamie, the more work he gets, the better he plays. You know, we ran into that with Phoenix Copley last last year, you know. So I don't think it's a script you want. Bowling Green's a very difficult team to come uh, back uh, on. If you look at their uh, stats this year, I mean, uh, you know, it's very difficult uh, to come back on them. So, uh, you know, we did a good job. Our guys stayed with it. And, you know, we're banged up. That's the other thing, too. You know, you don't have David Johnstone, uh, you know, one of your top offensive guys. You know, and Mike Neville, you know, who's played this some real good hockey for us. So uh, we're getting tested. Our depth is getting tested. And I will say this, we can play better. We had a lot of guys who, uh, you know, I thought had uh, average games uh, who can play better tomorrow. So, uh, you know, now we put ourselves in a good good spot to have a great weekend. They get the first goal in the second period. You didn't really respond perhaps probably the way you wanted to. It seemed like they were able to bottle you up. But after the second goal, you guys were able to, to flip the script on them a little bit, get some get some offensive action going, and as you said, Chris makes a nice pass. And yeah, you need somebody to, to get to give you a spark. And I thought once we got behind two nothing, and it, you know it, it, we seemed to play with more desperation or urgency in our game, and um, you know we did a good job there because that it would have been real easy just to fold the ten and uh, play the period out, but we didn't. And you know Alex Patan has had a real good year for us, uh, right spot, uh, puts it in, a, in the right. spot, position in the net and uh, you know that gave us a spark and from that that period on I thought we carried the play in the, in the second period. And certainly uh, Ock, he, he had wasn't able to get in the lineup real, a whole lot early but now he's getting in there pretty regularly and he gets a big goal for you there. Yeah and he's only going to get better you know you, you have to realize he almost missed the you know, first half of the year and he got thrown into a tough situation against Duluth but it's uh, you know, good for him, and, and he's only going to continue to get better. That's one of uh, many goals that he's going to score for us. And then, obviously, the loss of, of Mike Neville certainly hurts on the on the penalty kill, sure. and they get that goal, and they're up three two, and suddenly now you've got to try to respond again. But you guys are able to to react to it, and yeah, you know, and we're giving up goals from that that point. You know, the shots are getting through, and we did a poor job in the net. You know, I mean, Jamie couldn't find it, and. Uh, one of their forwards got position on one of our defensemen and you know, just tapped it in. You know, uh, but we got we did, we did a lot of good things tonight. I thought we blocked a lot of shots more than we have in previous games, and we worked on that this week. And you know, Brent Baltus, he does a you know scores a big goal, but at the same time he blocks a, a you know a big shot. So so good for him. He's he's playing a, you know good all around hockey for us, and it's contagious. And the guys on the bench can see that and feel it, and uh, it's good. Certainly, you got great efforts tonight from your two sophomore wingers in Baltus and Hainan. Hainan gets two two-on-ones with, with yeah. Piello. They, they can't get either one, but at least they got the chances, and then he gets an assist on one of the goals there. Well, so. he did. I, I thought Blake uh, Piello had a real strong game. You know, When he skates and when he gets determined, he, he's strong on the puck, and we need more of that from Blake, and we're asking more of that from Blake, and he can do it, so uh, good for him. And you know, Tyler had a real good game, and unfortunately, he's a... He's, Probably out tomorrow, so you know we, we continue to get banged up here, and those are three. That's a pretty good line, Hainan and Neville and David Johnstone. That we're not going to have you know tomorrow. That that would be a top line, and on a lot of teams. So uh, our depth is getting uh, you know challenged here. Uh, we have good depth. We've talked about that, and uh, I thought we did a good job tonight, and, and we're going to be even more challenged tomorrow. And can we say enough about Tanner Caro? Gets in there and gets that rebound and puts it home, and he's just such a, an important leader for you, isn't he? Well, he is, and he's having his best year by far. But what I like about the goal is he goes to the net and he stops. He stops. You know, a lot of players would just fly by the net there, but he throws the brakes on and calmly puts it in the net and turns out to be the winning goal. But uh, good for Tanner. So uh, 
uh, like, I liked a lot of things about our team tonight. I liked a lot of our players, but we have a few who can play better, and uh, you'll see a real good effort from our team tomorrow. How important were all those block shots late in the game? Because it seemed like you guys were able to suck back and really kind of make it difficult and make it anything through. Yeah, I think we did a real good job. I don't think that they had a real clear, good attempt in that in the last 37 seconds. I think we kept them to the outside there, and they kept moving the puck around. So uh, they didn't. I don't think they even got a shot, which was good. So our guys did a fantastic job in that situation with a lot of pressure on them. Uh, good face off by Blake Pietala. So uh, real happy, real happy for our guys. Good win. You know, I know last week was a tough loss, a depressing loss uh, to our team. But uh, like we tell them, you can't get too high when you win, like tonight, and you can't get too low, like when you lose against Northern, so uh, we'll be ready tomorrow. What's it going to take to get two more points tomorrow? We're going to have to play with some urgency and some desperation. We're going to have to skate. We're going to have to do all the things, the little things that win games, like blocking shots, making sure we manage the puck, get it behind, stay disciplined, and obviously get good goaltending.